Okay, we're just gonna do this. You guys ready? It's a town update. Hey, that house is in the house that was there. That's right. This house was there. This house was there. And I kind of kept the same size. I used a different green door. And I think the kind of fun... So, this is the town's post box, perhaps? And then I've got some extra room over here that I've afforded my <laughs> small village. I kind of like the classic idea of um, brick-built gates. I don't mind using this double... Um, I guess you call it a log base. I think it's called palisade brick still. Anyways, um, kind of doing some of that maneuvers. This is the, the farm field, and we can put animals in there. Maybe put some crops here, or put crops here and crops here. I definitely think I want animals, but we gotta have crops, right? We gotta have crops in town. Um, I need more tan. I used the dark tan, so brick yellow and sand yellow uh, to make the fence stuff. I also have a sand yellow under there. So that piece is pretty basic still. It's just a, it's mostly hollow 16 by 16 field, but then the, the house. So let's talk about what we did with the house in here. Um, no, so also the hole, I filled it in technically, but like, I just set it in there. I could put tiles so that it doesn't ever stud down, but I kind of like the idea of being able to fill in the hole. Got a little tool rack here. I don't have any tools in the tool rack though, um, cause I haven't dug out appropriate shovels and stuff, but basically just slide them in. Um, what do I got here? Okay. You got a bone spear. And yeah, I mean, it, that's that's a classic thing that they would do is put that on. To be fair, on headlight bricks, I did use um, snot bricks, so it's not recessed into the wall. If I had the headlight bricks in the appropriate color, I could recess it into the wall a little bit, although it leaves holes on the back side. If you use a headlight brick in that manner, we're going to have to have a little bit of the fence starting here, obviously. So this has to be five is a length, which is a hard length. So it would be a four here and then a one here. Um, unless I want to put some kind of other posts or something. I could just use the picket fence piece, I suppose. I only have one more in brown. And I think that's I think that's it. I might not even have one more in brown. I know I've got some in white. I feel like white's, again, kind of a bright color. I honestly want to put a black one of these um, small fences, the lattice fence, for that one, just to keep the town kind of dark. So the other thing is, and tell me, that roof look too big? Realistically, it's overhanging by one stud on the sides and then two studs on the front, but that gave me a nice look on the top to put those studs up there and just kind of flatten it off. And I think that looks nice. I can put a chimney perhaps up there to just give it a little bit more allure on the, um, uh, the skyline, just to give it a little bit more interest. The color, not in love with the yellow panels, honestly. I think I need to tone down the yellow, but um, yellow is the color of the undersides of the um, roof pieces, the Fabulan roof pieces, so that's <clears throat> maybe an issue. Realistically, though, um, there's four one by four brick here. This could be anything. I could use an orange one if I had it. Um, and then the sides are pretty easy. I do have that snot brick in there, but I can use some other snot brick or something. I don't need four studs. I can use less. And then I do have that little bit of grass that needs to be uh, raised up to the correct level. Again, a consideration is I could move this over and have this technically overhanging into the next plot, which might be less than ideal, might not be. This was supposed to be the end of the town, but I'm thinking maybe it's not. Um, just for space's sake, I can fit about four, um, four plots on the shelf right now. If I use the top of the bookshelf instead of the shelf in it, I could perhaps fit a fifth and have them hanging off just a little bit. So it was going to be this, a farm field, the guard barracks, which maybe we fix, maybe we don't, the, um chief's house the sheriff's house the inn and that's it but we do have the graveyard and the river crossing although the river crossing i think hear me out on this one guys 
um, should become a docks. I don't think I'm going to redo the river crossing necessarily, but it's going to become the town docks. And if I kind of use the, um, the graveyard starts with the uh, road in the front and then moves it to the middle. If I use that approach, I can then move off into um, a dock in the middle and I can put two boats next to each other, you know, on the side. So I think that's where we're heading in direction wise. Um, although that does, like I said, extend my town longer than four plots, which fair enough. Fair enough, it should probably be more than four plots. So I guess I guess basically the update is I definitely want to use the Fabulan roofs. I love that roof with the wooden uh, shingle effect. It's just, it's really nice. I think the yellow is too bright. I could put tan. I could put the sand, the brick yellow, but maybe sand yellow would be a better color. I could also... Um, dark red dark red would look nice i think with the orange and the red and again i am a little constricted on the colors of that but also you don't really see it that much from the front so if i get rid of the paneling i think that can turn the building a little darker and keep it nice um, did i mention the inside the inside we have a little table and chair and i think we might put a shelf with some uh, i don't know what's vegetables canned vegetables pickled vegetables different things uh, i'm not exactly sure what should be in the farmhouse but um maybe you can have a bed it's, it's hard to say classic a thing in classic buildings was you just kind of pick what room you get and that's the room you don't get to have all of your rooms and so for most of the houses i have included a sleeping quarter because i think that's a, a realism thing that i like them to be able to have but you know, we'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching the update, guys. Um, we'll have other videos, I'm sure. So automatic video over here. Subscribe on the farm hut. And then the grass field over here is the um, video that I handpicked for you. You're welcome. Thank you. Goodbye.